examples of what I mean by meaningful talk. I think one of the most overlooked skills that every great point guard, every great leader possesses is the ability to give reminders. To give reminders. Like, for example, Jeremy, he's a shooter. Get a hand up. Graham, we got two timeouts left. Chad, make sure you box out number 50. Red, uh, remember, next time down, I'm, I'm coming to back screen for you. Give reminders. And here's the thing about reminders. Well, first of all, if you give reminders, your teammates will play better. The more reminders you can give them, the better that they'll play. And if you can't, if you don't, if you think you don't know what kind of reminders to give, listen to your coach. What's your coach saying? If anything, just repeat some of the things that your coach is saying because he's probably saying some things that would make really good reminders. But here's the thing about reminders. Reminders are only useful before they're needed. A lot of times, let's say that, let's say, um, is it Chad? Let's say we just had a big possession and let's say Chad's guarding the other team's best shooter. And let's say Chad just let that guy come off the screen and he got a wide open look and Chad never even put a hand up and the guy drained it. And in front of him back down the court, I look at Chad and I say, come on, Chad, that's a shooter. Get a hand up. That's not an example of reminding. That's an example of complaining about something after the fact. That's not real effective. That's not good leadership. A good leader will recognize a situation before it happens and give a reminder then. A good leader would recognize, hey, this is a big possession. Chad's guarding their best shooter. Chad has a tendency to maybe not get his hand up a lot of times. Chad, he's a shooter, get a hand up. Now the play happens. Now that, that communication has a chance to impact what's about to happen. So you should get in the habit of giving reminders over and over and over again before it's too late. 